Welcome again to my channel, LR Retro. Now, we will review the next chapter of Grappler Baki, the Grand Sumo Battle Arc. It's the chapter where the Unchained Biscuit Oliva challenged the God of Sumo in a free fight. Do you think Oliva has an advantage in a match with no rules? Let's find out. But first, please know that you can buy the new Grappler Baki Volume Collections, Baki the Grappler Season 1 and 2 DVDs, and Bandai's Grappler Baki figurine on the link on the description below. By buying, you can help the channel grow and release more Baki videos. Please subscribe and let's begin. The chapter starts inside Takigawa's mansion. Biscuit Oliva is saying. That sandbag isn't your property. And you destroyed it without the owner's permission. That's a serious crime. You didn't even talk to the owner. sukuna san I'm going to arrest you right here, in the act. The monstrous strength of America's strongest versus the second generation, no me no Sukhna. He then replied. Well, there have been. Irredeemably slim Rikishi. Slim? Oh. He's saying that the demon man Biscuit Oliva is skinny? You're calling me scrawny? You're a foreigner. But your Japanese is excellent. Exactly. You're horribly skinny. Then Oliva smiled. He then said. I'll cut this short. I'm gonna borrow your chest holding nothing back. Then Oliva tackled the god of sumo. He then thinks. It. It doesn't feel like I'm pushing him. So Oliva tried to lift the huge wrestler. Nomi then said. That is powerful strength. But it isn't sumo. Then the god of sumo threw the strongest American. He continued. Gaijin-san. An inverted triangle doesn't stand a chance against a triangle the triangle, and the inverted triangle. Sumo is a world, dominated by triangles. It isn't the sort of world where an appeal to the eyes like this, where an inverted triangle, works. Takigawa then thinks, that's it. It's that sense of disconnect I had, when the two faced, that monster Oliva, who looked so monstrous in trunks, who gave off an impression, marked by a sense of strength, overflowing with bulk. In a Mawashi, in some way, he's out of place. It took away a sense of security. The impression he gave off was of being skinny for a Rikishi. The only things permitted to touch the ground are the bottoms of your feet. Your fingers can't touch it of course. But it's strict, to the point of not allowing even the tops of your toes. And there's only the 4.55 meters wide dohyo. If even just the tip of your toe touches outside of the dohyo, that's considered a loss. For a fight under those conditions, an inverted triangle body shape is completely unbefitting. A triangle body shape, for which the center of gravity is further down, is more advantageous. Oliva weighs over 140 kilograms. Yet, by the shortness of the distance, a lack of body weight, his tachii was easily killed. What's more? Oliva boasts back strength, incredible enough to, in a deadlift, raise over half a ton. Yet, Sukhna, who while weighing over 200 kilograms, doesn't come close to weighing half a ton, had the immeasurable technical skill to not allow himself to be lifted even a millimeter. The triangle is fearsome. Sumo is fearsome. No me no Sukhna is fearsome. Oliva then said. Hey. How long do you plan on holding me? Ah. Sorry. I get it. You're right with an inverted triangle that just looks cool. I can't win against a triangle. But that only goes for sumo. In a simple fight, a free fight where you only stop when it's done, things are different. Oh, Mr. Sukhna, the heavens are telling you something in the natural world. The gigantic guys with fat waists are killed by the small waisted hunters. Same goes for the world of insects. The waists of the predators are always small. Even the shapes of their faces are inverted triangles. I see. Let's have a free fight. Really? Here? Though, I am only familiar with sumo fights. Oliver replied. I, an American, can't figure it out, but. There's no start signal in sumo, or. That's correct. We match our breathing, and. Like this? Then Oliva punched the god of sumo in the face. He then said. Oh. Was that a matter? 
I'd heard that there's no signal to start in sumo. But. Was that Tachi I just now? Amata? No. I was the one who didn't match his breath. I'm sorry. That pisses me off. You're covered in blood. And you're still just as well spoken. Should I? Have been pathetically pleading for my life instead? Don't be stupid. A plea for life isn't something made out of sense. You drive someone back. Get them into a corner. And when you've got them there. Even though they don't want to, they beg you. That's what that is. I understand. Please drive me back. Hold back nothing. He's going into a free fight with Sumo? This is it. This is what I wanted to see. A Rikishi, who's prepared to be hit. Having a cross-style match. Don't have to tell me. Holding back in a match is a manners violation. Don't expect that kind of rudeness from me. Then Oliva took a weird stance. Takigawa then realized. Wow. Whether or not he knows it. That's the stance of the statue of the Congo Rikishi. It's inevitable. Once you decide on a full power collision, the fight inevitably becomes sumo. Then Oliva punched Sukna in the head. Unfortunately, his forehead broke the Unchained's hand. Takigawa then thinks, the man of steel. His fist was demolished. And he's being held. What? What is he grabbing onto? His bones. Bones? What? His ribs? Protected by the world's greatest muscle mass. The deepest depths of the muscular fiber. What's enshrined? Even deeper than all of that. His ribs are being grabbed from above the skin. That ultra-high pressure grip strength. Said to turn coal into diamond. Those palms pierced that wall of flesh and are holding onto his ribs. What do you think of this chapter? Do you think Biscuit Oliva can still have a comeback against a modern god of sumo? Comment down your opinion below. Special thanks to Stranger Dragons Prevail, Francois, The Real Zurvan, Jacket, Johnny Might, JJF, OK, Alec Morin, Vega Punk, Isom Harris, Awesome Swaceable, Trond Becker, Game Freak Plays, Thomas West, Casey, Aavik the Gamer, Dead Fox 0606, John Vinovich, Ahmed Zoyer, The Creeper, Joshua Ash, Aiden, Mars Kane, Claudio Aguilera, Francisco Carrillo, Jaden Robinson, Carlos Rios, Kowalski, Last Vanguard, Simon Schonaber, Reiner Brom, Tarek Abujaber, and Davies U. Browse. We really appreciate your help. If you want to support my channel, please subscribe to my Patreon, LR Shion. I will put a link in the description below. Our next video will be about the conclusion of the match between the strongest American and the god of sumo. Stay tuned.